X again. Um, okay, we'll start on the second. Do you want me to X that side? Yeah. Alright. So he's in here. So the other day we did we talked about not standing too tall here. Because it's really easy for him to get my base moving. Alright. So start pinching your knees, grabbing his collar, pulling his shoulders off the mat. All right? So I'm pinching these together. Alright. When I get here, he's obviously he's got a grab, which is okay. He may also grab my <coughs> collar. Alright. So from this position, when he grabs, I want to get the sleeve. All right, then I'm gonna to go to the foot. I'm gonna turn that knee again. Put the knee into him. Peel it. I'm gonna turn my knee further into him. And then I'm gonna post my right hand on the mat past his head. And from here, I'm gonna go for my pass. This is a little bit quicker version. So I'm gonna post. I wanna stay on my feet. Do not come down to my butt and my hip. If I sit down, he's gonna come up. You can wrestle up. Right? Okay. I want to stay on my my hand and my feet. Okay. So he's got it. Control. Would you want me to grab? Right. Yeah, you can grab something. Right. Even if he grabs my pants, that's okay. Break the grip, hold the sleeve, turn, push. Okay? That foot, same grip on the foot that we did the other night. I'm gonna start turning my knee towards his hip. And I'm going to go from this foot to the mat. When this hits, I'm going to back step. Big back step with this left leg. Here. Holding both of these. And then I come up. Okay. I can come up knee on belly. Here. I can come up under his head. Finish the side control. Here, squat, pinch the knees together. All right. Obviously, the next thing I want is to get this sleeve. So he reaches, I grab. All right. From here, I turn the knee, grab his foot, free it. Continue to turn my knee more like it's going to shelf all the way across his belt here. And then I'm going to post the hand. When I post the hand, I'm going to back step. Here. Stay on my foot, right. and now I can come back up. Okay, in there. Pinch the knees, pull. All right, gets his grip. I'm going to use my posture as well as my sleeve grip to break that. All right, turn, break. Post, back step. Here, okay, on my hand, on my foot. All right, and from here, he's sliding. I can come back, finish his side control. Keep that sleeve, because that's critical to keep him from coming back up and wrestling you. All right, don't go to your hip, and that also gives him an opportunity to come up. Any questions on what we're doing? I'm yes, on, the, on this side, your left leg, are you doing like a knee on belly or waiting on him? I'm more shelving. <coughs> my knee is on there, but I'm going to put this across his waist. Okay, so you're not on top of him directly, like waiting down. So, here, get the sleeve. All right? This, I'm going to start turning the knee across. Peel. From here, I'm going to drop my weight on him towards that belt, right across where his belt would be. Post, back step, okay? He comes up, I keep the sleeve, go ahead. I can just come back, drive that arm. He's not gonna get control of me if I keep that sleeve. All right? <clears throat> no technique's perfect. Um, the one we showed the other night, certainly gonna work. I, it's one that I like to go to myself. This is another one, probably one of the first ones uh, that I did coming up, dealing with this particular guard. Um, Lots of ways to do it. I'm just trying to introduce the most common ways for you guys to handle that situation. Um, any other questions on what we're doing? Anyone? All right. Uh, get your partners and uh, we'll get some reps. Where'd the beat go? Oh, ain't that some